Hey guys, how's it going? So today I have a video talking to you about how to increase the rarity on your Animal Gym account. Now after reading up, I realized how important rarity is on Animal Gym, especially compared to Club Penguin. So I decided to read up, especially this one wikiHow article really sort of specifies about how to increase the rarity in multiple different ways. So I decided to make a video sort of talking about it because I learned a lot from reading these articles and I figured for people that are new or for people that aren't too sure how to increase the rarity, I decided to make this video because I figured it would be helpful. Now just so you guys are curious, my username for Animal Jam has gotten changed from AJ Worldwide T to Jammer8VZNW and I'll have it on the screen here so in case you guys are like want to friend me or anything or if you guys are just curious. Um, if you guys don't see it in the videos, that is what my username is. Now the first sort of method to increasing the rarity on your Animal Jam account is by doing adventures. Now there are some sort of specific adventures that people go into detail saying how they give more items than other adventures. For example, the Forgotten Desert is known for giving out spiked collars and top hats at least once for every user. Now it's important to note that this is actually a member only adventure. so. For the non-members, there are more methods in the video, but if you guys are members and you guys are interested in getting more rare items, doing the Lost Desert as well as other adventures will actually help you get these rare items and increase your rarity overall. So the second way to increase the rarity on your Animal Jam account is by being around for Rare Mondays. Now from what I read and what I learned, Rare Mondays is essentially every Monday a different store, one or two stores, has a specific rare item in it. Now think about it, if there are around 52 Mondays in a year and you go to around half of them, so 26, there's a potential for you to get at least 26 rare items into your account. Now not only will that increase the rarity to your account, but you'll also just have more cool items in your inventory, so that will overall bring the account up. Now the third way that is sort of specified for how to increase the rarity on your Animal Jam account is by creating a YouTube channel and making videos. Now if you guys are okay with potentially getting hacked, which from what I understand is highly unlikely with Animal Jam then you guys can actually sort of get your name out there for people that may not know you, whether it's talking about updates, different adventures, or even different videos about Animal Jam in general. Getting your name out there and increasing your popularity is actually a really a big aspect to becoming rare on Animal Jam because the more famous you become, the more rare your account sort of becomes if you guys think about it that way. Now another method to increasing the rarity on your Animal Jam account is by trading. So from what I understand, trading is actually one of the quickest ways to get different items that aren't necessarily available on the island. Now for the most part, trading is kind of difficult because normally people aren't going to trade for items that are less valued than the items that they have. However, on the rare occasion that someone does accept your under trade or accepts your trade for items that are less valued than theirs, you're actually going to start increasing the value of your account. So it's interesting to see that if you run across the right person with the right items, you might in fact increase the rarity of your Animal Jam account. So the last way to increase the rarity on your Animal Jam account is to enter in giveaways. Now, from first hand, I've actually seen a lot of giveaways being done by the YouTuber Apari. So it's very interesting to see that the amount of items that they have and how rare those items are being given away to regular people. So it's interesting to note that you don't even need to be a member to enter into a giveaway. You just have to be there at the right time. So for example, if you guys are following someone who's doing a live stream for Animal Jam and they're doing a giveaway, it's very possible for you to obtain a rare item through just attending their meetup. So those are sort of the methods to increase the rarity on your Animal Jam account. Now it goes without saying that if you guys just buy as many items as possible, one of them might become rare within a given time. I was reading up on a few items that in the past around 2013, 2012 sort of time period, there were items that weren't that rare. However, over time due to popular demand, they actually became rare and they became more desirable with trading. So. Just try and sort of diversitize your inventory as much as possible. Get some head items, get some body items, etc. So just try and strategize as much as possible and in good time your account will become very rare. All you guys have to do is have some patience and apply uh, some attention to it and it will happen.
So I hope you guys did enjoy this Animal Jam video, and I appreciate all the love I've been getting on the past Animal Jam videos. It's awesome to see that you guys are really interacting with them, and I love doing these sort of investigative videos, the ones that require a little bit more research, because I actually learned a lot through doing these videos. So it's helpful for me, and hopefully it's helpful for you guys as well. Let me know what video you guys want to see next. I have a few ideas written down from comments in my past video for future Animal Jam videos. So those are going to be very interesting and very fun to make. So with that said, guys, I will see you all later. Take care.